At the top of the hour, 11 a.m. here on the East Coast, 8 a.m. Pacific time. Good morning. I'm Alex Witt. Some breaking news we're following for you. In Pakistan, you're seeing the evidence of a large explosion that ripped through a Marriott hotel there in the capital city of Islamabad. At this point, there are as many as 17 dead, given the various reports from this blast, and the hotel is very popular among foreigners. There has yet to be a claim of responsibility for the blast. Its exact cause also unclear at this point. For more on this story, let's go right now to NBC's Ann Curry, who joins me on the phone and has been on assignment in Pakistan. Ann, hello to you. I understand you're there on the scene. Describe what you're seeing. I just arrived here just a few moments ago, Alex, in fact, and, uh, and actually the emergency crews are still arriving as well. We're actually beyond the perimeter. We're actually looking right directly at what you've been seeing on videotape of this Marriott Hotel, as you say, a very popular hotel for foreigners. We understand from the scene, and of course, as this story is still breaking, this information can change, but we understand that foreigners are among the dead and injured. This is a massive explosion. We're told that a large container truck full of explosives ignited outside the Marriott Hotel. This is a short time ago. The hotel is engulfed in flames. I, this, this, we are not looking at a scene of, a, of, a, of damage in one particular part of a hotel. The entire hotel has caught on fire. Uh, so uh, clearly, uh, we believe that there have been a number of injuries. We don't know how many, obviously, but uh, this is not a, a scene of a, of a small blast. It is a scene of a massive blast. This hotel has been uh, completely destroyed. Uh, the emergency teams are still on the scene. Actually, they're, as I said earlier, they're still arriving. They're trying to put the fire out uh, to no avail. Um, and uh, we're still trying to collect information. We actually had to hike in uh, through all the blast debris to get to where we are. We're actually looking directly at mm -hmm. it, Alex. Uh, we should also probably tell you that today, uh, one of the uh, uh, groups that the Pakistani government has been negotiating a peace deal with um, uh, before the blast announced that it is uh, calling off the peace deal because it's furious about uh, the U.S., um, uh, um, the increase in U.S. attacks across the border from Afghanistan. Mm -hmm. As you well know and have been reporting, mm -hmm. uh, there has been an increase of, of drone uh, airstrikes by the United States um, in Pakistani territory. Today, the Pakistani president, the new Pakistani president, President Zadari, the uh, widower of Benazir Bhutto, uh, basically said that he would not tolerate um, any attacks uh, on the sovereignty of Pakistan. So this blast is coming as Pakistan is going through one of the most tumultuous times, um, uh, period in its history, uh, which of course, uh, raises all kinds of concerns as this is the most dangerous place it is often said in the world, given that it is a safe haven for Al Qaeda as well as for Taliban and other militants uh, yeah. at a time when, when we want, uh, obviously the world wants, um, um some peace in, in Afghanistan. And, uh, and elsewhere in the world, Alex. Yeah, of course, that contentious issue you bring up, Anne, uh, has been simmering for some time now, uh, the sovereignty of that nation and not tolerating any U.S.-led attacks there. Let's talk about what you are seeing, Anne. Uh, we understand this is a fortified building, as many of the public spaces are there in Pakistan, to avoid just this kind of tragedy from happening. Do you see presence of, of I guess, maybe concrete barriers or anything else that would prevent a truck that you've just described from getting close to the scene? Well, well, having stayed at this hotel in the past, I can tell you that uh, whenever you drive up to this hotel, you have to go through uh, a series of, of security um, um, checks. Um, oftentimes, the cars are checked before you can actually drive up into the hotel. Also, you have to go through a, a screening with, with metal detectors and all of that. But this looks like it was such a large truck. We can't actually see from our vantage point where the truck ended up, but it looks like it landed... Uh, just in front of the hotel from what I can see because it looks like the blast, you know, that the truck did not stop right in front of the gate, but rather just off of the gate because as you can see from the top front of the hotel, there are parts of it at the very front that are still standing. So it's mm -hmm. hard to tell right off the bat in terms of, in terms of that. But what I can tell you in terms of what I'm seeing now is a tremendous, uh, amount of smoke towering above us into the sky. The entire hotel, as I look at it, fully face at it from, from one end to the other, is engulfed in flames or has been already burned. Um, uh, we see flames on uh, to the left, on the left end, flames on the right end, and flames in the middle. We see, um, actually, uh, I don't actually see hoses where I am in terms of trying to put this thing out. It's such a huge fire. Um, the ambulance teams are, are still arriving. I mean, I have to say that this is not a situation in which we see a lot of 
um, obvious activity where people are, are moving people, and, and uh, it seems as though this is still um, being responded to. We hear lots of sirens, um, a lot of people trying to get close to the scene. Um, we're now seeing, uh, finally, uh, some water now through a hose being pointed at, at some of the flames at the moment, so we're seeing that as well. But, but just a few, I see maybe five firemen at, uh, in front of me, uh, there could, there obviously are some beyond my view inside the building in the darkness. But um, uh, I think that um, you know the, the estimation of 17 killed may be an underestimation mm -hmm. at this point, and certainly it may be uh, the, the, the numbers of people. Given that this is a Western target, remember, you know, if you look, if you want to uh, send a message to the West, one of the places you would choose is this hotel because this is a favorite for many foreigners. A lot of journalists, a lot of um, dignitaries um, uh, come to this hotel. So this, and because it's a Marriott hotel, it is a part of a Western chain. It is. It sends a very strong message. This is an attack um, directed to send a message to the West. Yeah. Um, so although we have now not heard of any claim of responsibility, um, I just, I, I, as I said before, this is coming as there has been a destabilizing in Pakistan economically, uh, which which helps to stabilize it politically as well as politically because just a few weeks ago the new president was sworn in and uh and that has brought mm -hmm. a lot of uh fury and the airstrikes why i should also mention the airstrikes i told you about earlier the increase the intensified airstrikes from the united states and also the first known ground incursion of u.s special ops across the border on september 3rd all this has happened since the new president